So we're going to be taking a look at the Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition, going through the setup, and I'm going to talk about some pros and cons to using this controller. Now, we'll say the design on this is awesome. You know, Backbone sells two controllers. They got their plain black one, then they released the PlayStation 1, which I actually prefer. I've been using it a lot more than the, uh, the black one. Anyways, here it is looking super fresh, of course. I'm going to hold it up to the camera so you guys can see it, but you got the Backbone logo on it. You're going to notice the icons on the controller are that of a PlayStation controller, hence the PlayStation Edition. You know, you just move it outwards to put your phone into it, and then you're pretty much good to go. Now, I'm going to use my yellow iPhone 14 for this example on the setup. Also, as I'm going through this, you know, if you have any questions about using this controller, feel free to message me below in the comments. You know, I'll definitely get back to you, but here we go. Now, when you do use the Backbone, you can actually just start playing with it, but what you really want to do is download the Backbone app from the App or Play Store because you're going to need to update this controller every once in a while with firmware updates, so it is important. Plus, it's going to show you different games that you can play and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's whip this phone into this controller. Also, very important, you can't use a case with this controller, so you have to go caseless when you put your phone into it. Something I just need to point out. I've tried it with a case before. It just does not work. Okay, so the fit on this is pretty snug. Your phone is not going to like snap out of it or anything like that. And basically, you're turning your phone into a Nintendo Switch. You can also see I've got that cool Batman wallpaper going on with the yellow iPhone 14. Basically, yellow on yellow. Now, as far as setting this up, pretty straightforward. Once you got the app going, you know, you can just go through the setup, give yourself a username. They try to get you to pay for a subscription on this controller. Do not do it. I think it's like 10 bucks a month. I have no idea why anybody would feel the need to give Backbone $10 extra a month after spending $100 on this controller, which brings me up to the pros and cons. Really, there are so many pros to using this. It's awesome, especially if you're a mobile gamer. The downside, there's really only one con. It's $100, so it's not a cheap controller. Um, but what I want to do now is run some Mortal Kombat with it so you guys can see it in action. So let's run it. First, before we get more into this, we would like to recommend you guys check out the Ignition Poker app. If you're someone who likes to take down massive pots while sitting on the couch watching Netflix, this is hands down one of the best poker apps to try out. Now, the cool thing is they offer both free and real money games. They've also got million-dollar payout tournaments to buy into all throughout the month. Ignition has also built a solid reputation for fair play, quick payouts, and of course, hosts some of the softest competition online. If you would like to start stacking your chips and dips, we will have some resource links below in the description for how you can get started. Chapter 12, chapter, 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 chapter 11, cutting the strings. Kronika's promises to you were a cruel deception. Yours, inevitable, fight.
mission consume you. To fight my enemies by any means necessary. Fight.